Hey y'all, welcome back to another video, and to make sure my microphone is working, yes. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the unofficial Windows 98 Site Condition Service Pack 3.66. Now I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, and I had to re-upload a video, my DOSBox video, which that method doesn't work with Windows 95 later because they're operating systems. You can actually emulate Windows 95, but it requires you to create a hard disk image and everything. And my method only works for interface managers that run over DOS, because DOSBox is a DOS emulator. But today we're going to be taking a look at the unofficial Windows 98 Second Edition Service Pack 3.66, as I said earlier. And let's go ahead and start up Windows 98 VMware with a VMware. VMware upload. There we go. As, uh, my cursor disappeared. So, here's the virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and start it. And a second later, we get it. We get it. Again. Oh, this car right here is just a driver. And, um, because, well, uh, VMware, when you install Windows 98 on VMware, it doesn't come with sound immediately. So, I want you to, to notice, like, when that starts, that boot up screen came up that it didn't say second edition on it and neither does the start menu banner I right hear and in programs you have your normal accessibilities these programs all these programs here it's basically your normal stuff here that comes with uh, Windows 95 including the noxious welcome to Windows <laughs> But other than that, let's get into it. So now I'll give it a, giving it a second to copy over. This is a program created by someone to add these hot fixes to Windows 98. And um, it completely changes your system. If we go back to the website here, or, sorry about that. It tells you to back up all your system files and the creator is not responsible for any damages caused to your computer or virtual machine. If you're on a real computer, you would need to copy the Windows and Program Files folder to the disk or some sort of um, storage medium. If you're on a virtual machine, you can copy the virtual machine files somewhere. Or if you have the pro version of VMware, or if you use VirtualBox, you can create a snapshot. But, um, I don't have the full version of VMware, I have the player version, which I had to copy the files then. But, other than that, I'll need to show you how to install this, so I'll do like a time lapse with my voiceover. And, this is what it looks like. When it, this is the warning it gives you when you first execute it. When you execute it, because you'll be executing it a lot. Because it requires you to restart your computer at least like six times, and then you start extracting files. It gets faster the second time you run it, and the third time. And it also makes your system look like Windows 2000, which is kind of cool because it comes with a theme. And um, this is a documentation when it comes up. Our official Windows 98 Second Edition Service Pack 3 includes almost all previous official and official hot fixes, updates, and add ons for the Windows 98 SE operating system. The update packages will help increase system stability, performance, functionality, and most of all, speed. Read the CHM help file for more details. Report all issues here. Unofficial Windows 98 Second Edition Service Pack 3. This is not a Microsoft product. 
The creator of the service pack will not be responsible for, for any following losses due to or misuse of the contents inside this package, hardware performance, data, material, revenue, privacy. The SP is available free of charge. There's no guarantee that the pack will work for your computer system. Use at your own risk. Written in Comic Sans there. And got copyright date. That's some important notices. You can read, possibly you can read that. Instructions. A uh, pick screenshots, which include all the new features you'll get, including the boot up thing and the ribbon, as I would say here. Here's a change log of all versions. Bug fixes, there's like a lot of versions, and here we are at the latest 3.66. Bugs and fixes, if I uh, want to report anything. And then the uh, credits. So, we can close out of that. And now, we're going to start time lapse. Now. So... I first saw the main update with a bunch of errors, and remember my Windows 95 view is actually going to work around to that. But, um, and then we go to install DirectX 0.9c if. Actually, I was experiencing a lot of problems, and I cut out a bunch of, a bunch of stuff because I was waiting a long time. But once we got back. We were able to install DirectX 9.0C. Uh, see here, and then one more restart later, and then we'll have to restart again because that silly bug I was experiencing. So, one more restart. There we go. Now we install everything except the main updates. Or don't click the thing that says 98 light users only if you don't have 98 light installed. We'll install those later. And yeah, it will take a while to select all of them. Just don't choose the one that says install separately. And then here we go. Start hiding icons on the desktop. Fill up desktop page launch as uh, seen here. It doesn't fill up the desktop actually. But I had a lot of programs. More system tools. Here I chose system internals for the NTFS drivers. And it adds even more like object viewer. It takes a while, so give it a second. One more reboot later, and that uh, freezes through the virtual machine again. That's so noxious. As you see there, I'm like trying to click it. Those blue screens you see is actually me hitting the control insert twice too. So, because VMware will freeze up if I don't do that before hitting the reset button on the virtual machine thing. Which I don't know. So we started up and then we start installing the things that say installed separately one at a time. As you see here, I'm gonna have to restart and then you restart again. But this is where I saw a lot of problems because these were the drivers and the Windows 2000 theme. The Windows 2000 theme was not much of a problem, so here we am trying. And then VMware just bugs out on me. But we managed to get the thing to reset. One more startup of the program. And the next thing. This is where VMware really bugged out. I don't know, I understand why. This program is really buggy. As you see it, everything looks like I'll have to use one more restart to that thing on frozen, then I try that. It doesn't even run scan disk, which concerns me. And then logs into it again, frozen. So that's why I was a little concerned. So scan disk finally ran.
and again it's frozen, so something was really wrong, so I actually closed out a virtual machine entirely, and then started back up. And this is what fixed it, finally. And then there's two more things we had to install, and I think the next part was the Steam Snow Ooze Web Folders. Web Folders. And then we installed the themes. And then there was one more thing we had to install after that, but it seemed for my favorite, kind of like my favorite part. And this is where the bug stopped, finally. It was getting kind of annoying. And it ends with a band of turns blue. Like in Windows 2000. But it's not running Windows 2000. And it hangs here. One more restart, and we had it installed. Then, for verification, I went ahead and checked if there was anything else to install, just in case. And yeah. I'll take back to my past self. Okay, so we're back. And that was quite an installation as I had lots of troubles with the virtual machine. So, as you know, this looks a lot more like Windows 2000 if we go into properties, but we can change it back to the Windows 98 look because that's how Windows 98 rolls you know, in effects that actually replaces the entire explorer.exe uh, process or actually modifies it because well, it was still this, but it could be just a modified explorer, I don't know I don't know, I just haven't tried doing that yet but the uh, we have Windows 2000 set to Windows 2000 and still go back to the Windows standard which Looks like this, but as you can see, it still has the um, new recycle bin icon and everything. So you can't change it back. So we're just going to change it back to Windows 2000. And so we got a lot of programs here. Here's an entire WinTop. This is like a task manager of sorts, and it tells you where the process is being at, and, but it doesn't allow you to kill processes. I mean, like you can try, but no, it won't let you. Properties. Okay, priority. Oh, you can actually kill processes, but um, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Here is some, I don't know much about this program, but it's like a, it's a com configurer. It allows you to do things. I don't really know. It allows, this part allows you to access, you can access the uh, application, I think, because I just saw that. Tab Packer allows you to compress files into tab files, not zip, tab. So I could like, let's see if I can create a new folder with, or not, call it test, and we add some files to it, so let's make a new text document, Lauren Ipsum, or for Lorem Ipsum Dolorist Dolorist That's a Lorem 
and if we were to save that and go back to the compacker, compacker, ah, oh, that's a very, cab packer, my bad, cab packer, oh, I thought it was called compacker for a second. Okay, so if we, so we can, so we're going to make, put it, we want it to do to our desktop, so source or file. I'm going to do, it should, or not, start compression, hit, no, ah, oh, there it is, and then, here's our new cap file, with more of it, so in it. Next up, we got Management Console, which I actually don't know how to do. I think it allows you to see things. Oh, it allows you to see your tools and networks. <laughs> registry Cleaner allows you to clean your registries in um, RegEdit. If Reg edit or not. Or if I can spell it right. I mean modify fixed registry keys in here. But next we got share DLL, which for some reason just flashes a play window. I also got Microsoft Word ninety seven, which is basically just Word ninety seven. It's basically your Word application here. And not much to it. You do stuff like that. But um, next up, we got Object Viewer. If you don't know what Share DLLs was, it doesn't work. Well, well, I just said that. So we got Object Viewer here, and it allows you to view various. It's like modern day event viewer. Uh, in terms, wind death. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, it's uh, another compression archiver that looks a lot like Windows 3.1 style application. And that's not it. We got. Da -da -da -da. We. we where was it? But there was also Front Page Express. Internet tools we got. Or not. Internet tools, Front Page Express. This allows you to create and edit HTML. It's like modern day Wix or Weebly or GoDaddy or whatever you use for the website. It allows you to create HTML files. It's like a visual editor of sorts. Next we got the VPN, which I don't know much about. Configuration. It allows you to do certain things. But that is pretty much it. And uh, but not we're not done yet. You can see, you can't go back. So, what do you do if you don't like it? You revert to a snapshot. So, that's what we're going to do. But, it was pretty cool looking at Windows 98 Second Edition. This also allows you to go above the RAM limit, which is like 256 megabytes. So, you have more RAM up to 4 gigs because it's a 32-bit operating system. I think it also tells kernel X, but I'm not entirely sure about that because I didn't see it in the list. Um, other than that, we're going to see if we see how we uninstall it. Now, of course, we you could try and go into control panel 
Ooh. I remove programs. And then start uninstalling all this junk here. That's a lot. There's only should be about two items. There's only two items that should be in here that were added. We won't get rid of the theme though if you don't like the theme or the icon pack. Or the uh, boot screen or this. Is there anything else? It also came with, also came with a bunch of other stuff, but we don't need to take a look at absolutely everything. But that's so. What you would do is you would restore from the archive you made before you installed it, if you made an archive. So we're going to shut down here. There's always a few other programs, but it's a lot for one video, so we're just going to shut this down. And go ahead and go get to my snapshots here. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into Fox Explorer. Yes, top. We're going to go ahead and copy to the documents. Go ahead and replace everything. There we go. We just restored. We went back in time. Here. And then, here we go. We're starting up, Windows 98. This is the pre installation. Type in my password. It's now gone, but look. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I moved this icon, which is for the sound driver, to this part of the screen, so it won't happen if you're the one back at the windows, and it actually probably will. But, that's what happens when you go back in time. And I'm now going to list things together. So. Um, but yeah. And that is pretty much it. No more Search Pack 3 is still on this thing. It is normal, normal Windows 98. Good old Windows. Well then, I guess that's it for this video, and I hope you liked it, enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe. I'll put the links on the screen to it right now, and I'll be talking to you in another video. See you later. Bye.